40 miles south Cowabunga! Our remaining bunch of shoobies, dude. 10 home cooks have arrived in Huntington Beach, California for an epic Oceanside Team Challenge. We see two sea flying in, and there is Joe and Gordon coming 90 miles an hour straight at us. Oh, where's, oh, come on, where's Graham? Where's Graham? Where's Graham? Where's Graham? The judges look pretty badass on those sea -dews. Where is Graham? Where's Graham? Where's Graham? I see there is something looks like a buoy. Come on, Graham! <laughs> Please, God, no. Is that Graham in a Speedo? God, no. Is that Graham in a Speedo? Like a buoy. I never thought I'd have to do a fit check on the rarest of Grahams. There is not a more rare Graham than the Graham we are seeing right now. He's wearing like a wetsuit, I believe, but the wetsuit is supposed to be of like a, like a, like a muscular person. But because my man is portly a little bit and he's filling it out perfectly, it's, it looks like a, like a fat suit, like the, the Let's go, Scottish go. guy in Austin Powers. That's what, it looks like that's what he's wearing, you know, like the sumo suit or whatever. This is truly the rarest of Grahams, especially because Graham himself also has a bunch of tattoos and so does his wetsuit, okay? <laughs> I mean, look at this man. This is, whether you like to admit it or not, peak male physicality, okay? My man is a physical specimen. This is a beach episode. This is an anime. Master Chef is an anime. And this is the beach episode. I know that racist isn't talking about his body. What? Please, God, no. Is that Graham in a Speedo? No, what? I think Graham I takes love. the cake today on beach challenge arrivals. Gordon and Joe did a great job. Yes, Graham. Graham took it up another notch with raw sex appeal. Welcome to Huntington Beach, California. Everybody. Oh my God, he kept it. He kept the wetsuit. Oh, stop. Stop it right now. He kept the bottom of the wetsuit. He's still wearing it. I respect this man. Okay. Absolutely incredible. One you guys know the official nickname of Huntington Beach? No? Surf City, USA. I thought it was Racism City, USA. <laughs> That's right. You guys are going to have to feed 101 hungry surfers. <laughs> Woo! Woo! What do surfers eat? Aren't they like unemployed weirdos? If oh my God, bro. Oh yes, dude. There's one food that really defines Southern California surf culture. Fish tacos. It's the delicious, simple fish taco. Yeah. You've got 60 minutes to prep and 60 minutes to serve. Fish tacos are huge in San Diego. I make fish tacos myself at home. I do shrimp tacos, I do ahi tacos, I do mahi-mahi tacos. So I'm excited. You can only choose one type of fish in your tacos, but you've got the most amazing choice from ahi tuna, delicious cod, catfish, or mahi-mahi. You need to serve each surfer two identical, stunning tacos. 
with one delicious sauce. Stunning Each of the 101 tacos. surfers will vote on which fish they need to be they stunning prefer. tacos. The first team to reach 51 votes will be the winning team. Right, ready to pick your teams? Oh, yeah. Yes. Yes. Good. Jesse, come over here, please. Here's the good news. Winning that elimination challenge, you had the best dish. So you get first team pick. And the second team pick. And the third team pick. I like where this is going. <laughs> and the fourth. No clear favorite makes this season fun. Jesse, dude, that's my clear favorite. But yes. This is an interesting season because, like, they're all evenly matched for the most part. I haven't seen anybody, like, pop the fuck off. You know what I mean? Ting pick. That's right. Basically, you now get to pick your team of all-stars. Holy advantage. The five remaining cooks you don't pick will, of course, be the team you are up against. And their team captain is chosen by you as well. What? I am holding all the cards and I love it. <laughs> I'm picking this person because they understand how to put flavors and spice, the right amount of heat. Mm -hmm. So I think James is my number one. James, let's go. Oh, damn. Thank you. All uh, right, second pick. Eddie. Eddie, welcome to the blue team. Appreciate it, appreciate it. Right, uh, next pick. I would love Bethy to come join me. Wow, Bethy. Now, your last pick. I want a little artistic flair. I want someone who's gonna have good input. Brie. Understands flavors and heat and spice as well. The vegetarian. Pick Natasha. Wow, Natasha, come over the blue team. No way! You have just hand-picked your dream team. Yeah. And you've left those five individuals that enter into the red team. Out of those five Chrissy, individuals, Chrissy, you now have to Chrissy, nominate Chrissy, a captain. Chrissy, 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 Chrissy. If you want to win this, Chrissy. If you want to win this, Chrissy. Stack him up. Make Chrissy the fucking team captain. Automatic L. No fucking shot. Okay? That's literally just straight up. Automatic L. You know they're not winning. Make Chrissy the fucking team captain. I'm not going to pick Jordan or Chrissy. They've already been captains. Even though they weren't great at it, they've learned from their mistakes. No, no, she hasn't. You're so wrong. Chrissy maximizes on the content. And also on top of that is racist plus plus your white plus ratio plus l but literally she has not learned a single fucking thing from her mistakes okay she would never be a good captain she is incapable of learning there's luca who doesn't know tacos that's tempting breathe vegetarian or savannah who just gets nervous and has a bad palate all right Ooh, she got spicy with that to me luca Wow. Savannah, you are now the team captain of the red team. How do you feel? I feel great. I'm from Southern California. I'm from San Diego. She doesn't realize what she's done, so I'm not scared. I think she made a mistake picking me as a captain. If she thinks that I'm going to crumble under pressure, that's not going to happen. Your one hour of prep starts now. Off you go. Good luck, guys. The most urgent task for both teams is to decide which fish they will choose for their tacos and how it will be prepared. I'm thinking either um, tuna or cod. I think cod is the most forgiving of all the fish. I agree. Oh, yeah. Traditionally, you put it in a batter, you fry it, put it in the taco. Or we could do like a blackened cod with a really great seasoning. I would love fried, but it takes a lot of time. We have just 50 minutes to Let's prep. test it out. Let's Does anybody know how to make a batter? I, can anyone make I, I a batter? I can make a really good right. batter. So you're going to make a batter. We're going to okay. test it out. And then we need to make a sauce. I'm telling you, I can kill a sauce. My philosophy as a captain is to make sure... Dude, my weeb sister told me she saw an Akatsuki edit of you on her twit. Lol, you are confirmed weeb. I'm not a weeb. So that everyone agrees on everything that we do and to delegate and have a plan. I want you to work on the spice, you to work on the batter, I want you to prep the fish. They don't think we can do it, you guys. That pisses me off, so we're gonna kick their asses. Oh, yeah. Ready? Go! Okay, she's kind of popping off as a team leader right now. 
Mahi's personally my favorite. I don't know how you guys feel about it. When I think of fish tacos, I think of Mahi Mahi. Yeah, tender ass pieces of fish. Yeah. What we can do is just lightly sear it on both sides, and it still it'll soak up the sauce. What kind of sauce we think? There's a bunch of pineapples over there, enough to make sauce for all of it. Do you want the sauce spicy or more on the sweet side? A little bit of heat. Mahi Mahi is such an awesome tasting fish. I would hate to see the Akatsuki edit. I would hate it because I'm not a weeb. Like, I would like to just see it just to show everybody that I'm not a weeb. You know what I mean? Like, not for personal. Like, I would not, it's not for personal consumption. Like, I just would want it. You know what I mean? Like, to see if it, like, looks super cool or not. You know? I, it wouldn't, though, because obviously, because I'm not a weeb and it would look so. It would look so lame because I'm not a weeb. Oh, this. This is old. 14 months. Pogu has to love you, Hassie and Chad. I've seen this before. Oh, ew, I hated this. Let's get started. There's only one sauce that I can think of that will complement it perfectly, and that's a roasted pineapple and habanero hot sauce. While the blue team begins prep on the components for their mahi mahi taco, on the red team, Captain Savannah is making the slaw topping for their cod taco. Jordan, oh, I think watch the your fingers. Tastes like nothing. Huh? Did you taste it? The Did you salt it? Did you put any vinegar on it? No, because I don't want to overpower anything else. You got to season it with something. I put lemon juice. Savannah says she doesn't want to put anything on the cabbage, which I'm a little confused by. You put seasoning on everything. If you had to nominate the weakest individual in the red team, it would be Savannah. Mm -hmm. But Savannah like is from Southern California. She may be a school teacher, not a surf girl, but she understands the culture. She understands the food. She's lived the life. We're going to make the, the slaw is going to have a little kick because it's going to have the chipotle in it. We've never given that level of responsibility to a single captain to pick two teams. That's pretty unique for Jesse. Yeah, I mean, it really is almost the, the best of the best, the all-stars. You know what was really surprising to me is her picking James first. Why did she pick James first? Because of his technical ability to deliver an amazing sauce. Mm -hmm. The key to the success of winning this challenge is going to be in that sauce. On a scale of one to 10, how hot's your salsa going to turn out being? Five. I'm making it mild. With so much pressure riding on the sauce, Joe and Graham head over to the blue team for a taste. That's right. Oh. Too spicy? No, Joe, get a big bite. No one's buying fish tacos for the slaw. It's the fish and the sauce that goes on it. That's what makes it key. Whoa! James's first uh, stab at the sauce is a miss. If I put out a crappy sauce, we're going to have a crappy taco. That's not like an, uh, an evolving heat. That's like a stab in the throat. That's hard as fuck to make. Like, I mean, I've never made like an actual, I've never actually made sauce, even though I'm a sauce boss. I love sauces. I feel like hitting it and like making it, like one tapping a sauce like that is going to be really hard because you don't even know how spicy the specific peppers are. You know what I mean? Some peppers are not as spicy as others. Like I'm saying habanero to habanero. You know what I mean? Master Chef's top 10 home. No, it was not a super easy white people moment. No, dude, if you've ever fucking worked with peppers, you know that like not every pepper has the same fucking consistency and same kind of spice. What the fuck? White people are just bad at handling spice. Dog, I literally hit fucking Has. five spicy uh, yellow peppers raw in front of you every day at the minimum. Cooks are busy prepping lunch for today's fish taco challenge. Both teams have just one hour to make and assemble fish tacos for 101 hungry surfers. On the blue team, the judges are concerned with the heat level of James's pineapple habanero sauce. There's a lot riding on the sauce. It plays a huge part in the actual overall 
fish taco. Oh, yeah. I'm getting nervous. The sauce isn't coming together. You don't want to just overpower the taco. It's a little hotter than how I normally make it. These are pretty potent ass habaneros. Red team, blue team, 30 minutes to go. While James tries to tame down the heat of the habanero chilies, on the red team, Jordan is busy creating his own signature sauce. I'm making a cilantro lime sauce. This sauce is going to win it for us. It's going to be fresh and it's not going to be too heavy. The sauce is what's going to bring it all together, so it's, it's a very key component. Uh, that's delicious. Watch the salt there, guys. Huh? With Jordan's cilantro lime sauce completed, Chrissy is ready for red team captain Savannah to sample her batter fried cod. All right, cod's ready. All right, let's taste nice. the cod. I fry this cod, and it's gorgeous. I mean, literally, it was crispy, it was light, it was beautiful. Is there vinegar? Uh, I, hot I, sauce? I put a little hot sauce. Cut the hot sauce. That's a lot. Chrissy made a deep-fried version of the cod, and we don't tell her to her face that it tastes like but it tastes like Yo, know, hot sauce is way too much. This is more like a chicken fry. I think we should yeah. grill it. My fish is, like, so delicious. And I'm just like, you know what? Just do whatever you want to do. I, think I fucking called it, bro. She is literally... She is the, the cancerous element, dude. She is the canker sore, okay? She cannot stop. She will always destroy every fucking team she's a part of. She has to fucking put her signature on everything. Lynn is a better chef than her, by the way. And he got fucking clapped up. And every single time she is met with like any kind of reaction or any kind of criticism, she's like, you're fucking wrong. I know how to do it. I know, I know. I'm also fucking racist, I know. Straight up. <coughs> I think we should grill it. No, it's fine. It's fine. Okay. I'm, I'm, I'm down. All right. With Chrissy's fried fish off the menu, Red Team Captain Savannah must reassign her to a new station. Savannah, you want me to start working on a slaw? We've already got that. I'm kind of left with, where do I put Chrissy? I'm not trying to keep her out of anything. I'm just trying to figure out what do we need. Motherfuckers have Florona. First of all, uh, I literally got fucking tested last night because I had like a headache. And I got tested. There was one test that my dad had. And I'm fucking COVID free, baby. Still. We need done. All right, case. Chrissy, tortillas. Do you want me to do tortillas On the grill, right now? Charm burnt okay almost burnt I only races like here is like, you and oh, your chat let's go doing. let's just put her on the dumbest task ever so i'm just grilling tortillas <sighs> is there fish ready that i can try guys yes there is it's good guys salt the fish lightly more sure Money on. I think the blue team is really going to come on strong. I think they need to fix that sauce a little bit, but I think they have a lot of talent. And uh, with Eddie at the grill, I got to go blue. Wow. Crime? Red all the way. Red all the way. thousand percent. Mm -hmm. Sauce, pickled veg. The fish is perfect. Super moist. They blackened it. It's seasoned. All right, Chrissy, let's start assembling some. Her fucking up the... <laughs> Yo, if, the, if red wins, it's because Chrissy actually literally fucked up their chances. Like, it's because Chrissy fucked up so hard that they ended up... That they ended up fucking succeeding. Okay, we need um, gloves. Red team, 10 minutes before those surfers start coming or looking for food. While the red team is well underway assembling their tacos, the blue team is still working on their prep. Jesse. Yes, sir. Start assembling them. Okay. Otherwise, there could be a queue there and there's nothing going out. You got it. This is a hard challenge with only five people and one hour of prep time. This is the shortest amount of time we've ever had for any challenge. Just on three minutes to go, blue team. Someone should just do tortillas, someone do fish, someone do slaw. You guys, we need to figure this out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight portions. Yeah? 93 to go. We didn't have everything organized the way we needed to. And it's, it's biting us in the ass right now. Let's go, guys. Come on. Get ready. Here they come. We're good on slaw. We've got tortillas. We're ready. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. 
Don't trust those at home rabbits right now. CDC is finding that the new variant not detected for an additional two days after your infection. I never got infected, dude. I just felt tired. And I wanted to, I hadn't gotten like, I hadn't tested myself in a long time. I'm a contact tracer right now at an international university in the States. I'd try to go get a PCR if you can just to confirm. Jesus Christ, dude. I Please did a rapid. Come and enjoy your lunch. Oh my gosh. It is the biggest mass of people all at once. And like, I think we only have 15 tacos made. Mahi Mahi tacos we got here, guys. The Master Chef Fish Taco Challenge is underway. All right, one of you guys help us plate. Luca, come and help us plate. The 101 surfers will chow down on fish tacos from each team and then vote for their favorite. The first team to 51 votes wins. Come on, guys. You guys, we're going to eat a lot faster than that. The blue team is served. Shut the fuck up, dude. Look at this. Wins. Look at this guy. Please look at this man. Look at my mans right here. Zero percent chance this dude's actually from California. What the fuck? What is happening? You guys, you guys we're going to That's an actor right there, okay? That is absolutely an actor that they hired. Most of these dudes are actors that they hired. And that guy is putting his whole... He's putting his whole cussy into it, okay? He's like, Yeah, dude, tubular, bro. This is fucking sick. That's so sick. Holy fucking shit, dad. I love me some fucking surf tacos, dad. He's a lot faster than that. The blue team is serving grilled mahi mahi tacos with a chipotle Good ranch slaw and a roasted pineapple high. habanero sauce. The red team is serving spicy blackened cod tacos with pickled onions, cabbage, <laughs> and a cilantro lime sauce. There's a little kick to them. I think you're gonna love them. Right. There you go. While the red team is smoothly riding the wave of hungry surfers, hey man, just the blue like team is about to wipe out. All right, guys, to my stomach today. All right, hands on deck. Guys, we might run out of sauce here. All right, I've got no more tortillas. Come on, Jesse. We got Hold it. Up the no, you're not getting there. Stop me. I told you to get organized. I'm getting overwhelmed. My team's getting overwhelmed. We're all stupidly working on top of each other. Guys, we're out of fish. Come on. We can't run out of fish. It's fish tacos, for God's sake. We're screwed. Guys, fish immediately. For today's Master Chef Challenge, the red and blue teams are serving fish tacos. I'm sorry for trolling. It's just my friend called you a Chad. And it pissed me off because you're a soy boy. It's all good, man. You're going to be all right, okay? Edward is unwinding. As a pet, he's outliving his usefulness. Okay? Yeah, we're in the... Someone in the chat also said, he, he, we're in the bargaining phases now. Okay? He, he's gone from... He's gone from just, like, writing stuff to being like, okay, maybe... I don't know to 101 hungry surfers we need more fish we need more fish come on guys please blue team come on get it together unprepared for the masses of hungry surfers the blue team has run out of assembled tacos they weren't prepared enough they weren't prepared no they're just completely backed up so much for the team of all stars as the blue team struggles to keep up the pace the judges check in with the surfers to see whose tacos they prefer I thought the blue was awesome, especially really? with the sauce. And the red? The red I'm a big fan of. So you're going to go red? I'm going red. Yeah. All right, thanks, guys. How is everything so far? Blue, off what? the hook. Off the hook. I don't like the blue. I'm all about like the, the red. red. It's really good. It's really good. I say red? Red. 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 All right. Woo. There you go. Yeah. Guys, we're doing great. Keep, Keep this assembly line going. going. There you go, Dynamite. sir. Enjoy. You're welcome. Despite a slow start, hey, my the God, blue Dave's team hot. is back on track, and the surfers are moving quickly through the line. Here you Thank go. You. Thank you, guys. 
things are coming together. Like, we're bouncing back. And our team's taco is freaking amazing. It is so good. I'm so proud of my team. I need fish. But over on the red team, a miscalculation. I did it. My parents got Dave's hot chicken. To get out their final tacos. What are we waiting on now? We're just waiting on some fish. We're pulling it up fresh for you. We need fish as soon as you can get it to us. I'll have more for you in a second. I'm so hungry and you got me waiting. I'm sorry. Luca, we got more fish. Thanks so much for waiting. Here you go. That's what I always say. Patience is the key to good food. There you you go. know it's going to be delicious because you had to wait for it, right? I like the red team because uh, the sauce is just, just what made it. I think I like the blue teams because I really like pineapple and I love mahi. How many more people? We got two more people. That's it. That's it. Thank you, guys. We would like you to come up and cast your vote on this surfboard. Stand That's in the middle works. and then go left or go right, depending on which taco you thought was the most delicious. The first team to reach 51 is the winner of this phenomenal challenge. I know that the blue team hoped that we would crumble under pressure and fall apart, but we did it. I want to come out on top and show the blue team that you can't break me. Please, number one. <laughs> First one, red. Woo! That's the dumbest way to do this. Another one for the red team. Yeah! Woo! Woo! Go red, big man. So Red taking an early lead. Woo! It looks like they're falling. Really? Yeah! Woo! Red team, yet again. Red is on fire, in fuego. Red hot, baby. We're looking good. Woo! Red team, way in front. Hopefully, we'll get a vote today. We are ahead by 10, 15 votes. And I'm thinking to myself, is this possible? Yes! It's looking like a landslide for the red team, guys. Oh my god, Savannah! <laughs> this is the first time I've been on a winning team. Better not be red. Woo! Woo! One for the blue! Woo! Yeah! Yes! Let's start the blue streak, as I like to call it. And boom goes the dynamite. Right. Two, three, four, ten, fifteen. Blue team are pulling it back. Yeah. We just start rapidly getting them left and right. So scripted. Some would say a tidal wave of votes just kicked in. We have a draw. Oh. Stop the steal. All of a sudden at midnight, votes started shifting towards the fucking Democrats. What happened to the votes in Michigan? 49 to 25. Wow, a strong takeover by the blue team. Come on. The blue team requires one more vote to win this challenge. Come on, come on. R.I.P. to the Republicans, this was like probably triggering for you. You know? Basically reliving exactly what happened in the 2020 election, November, all over again. Or you're thinking like, oh, they're not going to ever call in the mail-in. They're never going to count the mail-in ballots. And then the, the vote dump comes in late night. You know what I'm saying? And you're like, what? We went to sleep thinking that we were winning. Except this time, there's also top of the hour ad breaks that fucking stop you from, you know, seeing who actually wins immediately. Has Judd stopped it? You know what I mean? At the top of the hour, is a 60 second ad break. 
And if you no longer want to see those ads, all you need to do is subscribe. But like, if you're a Republican, you're probably not going to regardless. But you can subscribe for free with a Twitch Prime, obviously. Yeah, stop the steal. How about you stop this steal? Here's the one minute ad break now. Boom. Roasted. Go blue! Bro, they got stop the steal. They got twenty two votes, and then they got three from twenty. They they literally got like fifty one votes in a row, dude. Okay, they got up to twenty two, and then they got three votes. That is so scripted. Congratulations, blue team. I am on cloud nine. I could not tell you how excited I am right now. Hallelujah! No pressure test. Do you think Chrissy? Remembered this moment from Master Chef on the night of the election. Hassle. She was sitting around monitoring the votes. And then all the fucking vote dumps came in. Red team, you have lost the challenge. You will now face. The dreaded pressure test. I am beyond disappointed. And watching them celebrate, I just want to put my head under the sand. Time to clean. Dude, we marked our asses off. We did amazing. We did everything we could. Hey, win with dignity, lose with dignity. You did good today, Savannah. Thanks, you guys did a great job. We had some of the best teamwork I've seen out of any challenge. Exactly. For sure. Everything on our taco was amazing. It was. I've never been on a winning Jeez. team. Ever. I know. Not once. I know. I'm just sick of being in pressure tests. Always picked last on every losing team. Nobody wants to listen to me. I have the potential to be on a winning team, but... Out of all the challenges, the only person who has never won a team challenge so far is Chrissy, by the way. And she still doesn't get it, dude. Here I am, stuck in the trenches, every team challenge. It's Calm down, please, guys. I don't think I deserve to be here. I've already been in four pressure tests. I'm tired of pressure tests. The one time her team won... She was not a part of the team, right? Like literally the one time her team won, she was not a part of the team. They like eliminated her ahead of time. At the wedding. Like while technically her team won, she was not a part of it. Yes. Yesterday, you all cook for 101 surfers. Jesse, your team won. And our 101 heroic surfers. Now safe from elimination. But you and your team have also won. Oh my God, what is Graham wearing? Oh my God. Else. Oh my God, he decided he's going to put a wow. Cubs. Oh, dude, what the fuck was happening today, dude? This is violence. And there's no cuffs. But it is Cubs. Please take one. That is awesome. Very cool. Sweet. Loving it. My name nice. Is too. So you're Absolutely probably wondering why you're standing there well. wearing your hometown's baseball team jerseys, right? Yeah. Next Tuesday night, there's a very special game live here on Fox. The 2013 Major League Baseball All-Star Game. For winning yesterday's challenge, you guys will be watching it with me at City Field in New York. Oh! <laughs> Damn, what a flex on the other team. I don't team. think nobody here loves baseball more than me. I know I'm the biggest baseball fan out of this group. I love the Yankees. My hometown, the All-Star Game, and I'm not invited. This is like a knife in my heart. Take these tickets and head up to the balcony. I love the Yankees. <laughs> All-Star team gets to go to the All-Star Baseball Game. Seems kind of appropriate. <laughs> 
Unfortunately for Savannah and the red team, the surf proved too big for you to handle. Savannah, name me the weakest performer of your team yesterday. I delegated tasks, and everybody completed the tasks that were given to them. Name me the weakest. Graham woke up Chrissy. today and chose Brain. violence. Weakest performer. Chrissy. Chrissy, why? In terms of her compared to everyone else, she was literally heating up tortillas. That's the only job I was given. At least one of you will be leaving this competition tonight. Hey, big man, but love your not stuff. all five of you team. are going to have to compete. You lost as a team, so you'll decide as a team one person who will not be participating in tonight's pressure test. You will all go into the wine room for five minutes. And when you return, tell us who you're saving from the pressure Bro, Chrissy would cry if she had any self-awareness, okay? Like, she would cry if she had a, even a fucking shred of reflection. Like, she just does not. So she will never cry. She will never be upset because she thinks, like, you know, she fucking is great. Pressure test. Off you go. This could be very, very bad. There's a little bit too much tension between us, and it would not be healthy for any team. I think we learned a lot from yesterday. There should have been more communication. In the moment, we all agreed on everything. But the minute we get in front of them, everybody's tune changes. That's the truth. Yeah, so like we, I was the worst so on the team. It's not, you, can't, you can't take it personally like that. No, no way. That. Three times I told you that I didn't think it was a good idea to see No, you them. didn't. I said, maybe we should put the tortillas on the grill. And you were like, oh, OK. How did and I tell you to sudden, cook them, though? You told me to, you didn't tell me to cook them. I said to cook them almost burnt. No, you did yes, not. Way. You said, don't burn them, or we won't be able no, to them. No, I didn't them. say that. It's what you me. said. I said, almost burnt. burnt. Oh, Savannah, <laughs> you. Hey, 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 All right, hey, hey, shut the up. Dude, I'm done. chill out, Chrissy. I'm done. For real. I'm done. No, dude, I'm so sick and tired of you bitching about everything. And here yeah. you are coming in like, oh, you guys, it was such a bad team. <laughs> you too, dude. I didn't say it was Who a bad team. Who were you? What did you I do on the team? I didn't say it was a bad team. Everything you better. Was... Oh, my God. Pop the fuck off, queen. And no, I don't mean Chrissy for the record. This is delicious, dude. Let's go, Bree. She's got that fucking... She's already pissed. She's been dealing with a lot of meat as a vegetarian. You know what I'm saying? Get after it, dude. Shut the up, Bree. Really? What are you going to do? Good. I That's hope what you... The you can't sit here. You better. Wait. Wait. Too, I didn't say it was Who a bad team. Who were you? What did you do on the team? I didn't say it was a bad team. You better shut I will knock you the fuck out, she said. Bro, she's from Philly. I bet she throws hands straight up. I'm surprised she hasn't oh, yet. Up, really? What are you going to do? Good. I That's hope you, you can't sit here and talk about like an adult. All you ever want to do. Bro, a woman from South Philly, you fucking see her, take her earrings off, run, okay? It was hit everyone in the face. If she, if she took her earrings off, it's over. She's about to clap. Damn, I hope you go home. Yourself. You, you, you need to watch your language. Seriously. So who do we think should be saved? Jordan. Yeah, I think Jordan. Jordan, you're safe. Yeah. All right. Yeah, Thank you guys. I appreciate it. Red team, please come out. I think Chrissy's just a bully. I think that she's insecure. Someone said she's she's all talk, bro. Are you kidding me? She's a portly mom from South Philadelphia, bro. Okay. She is not all talk. She is 100% the type of woman to fucking get in a fight on Black Friday, okay? Racially motivated, too. Are you fucking crazy? She absolutely has fought people. She 100%. She's, a, she's also a MAGA mom, too. You know. And I think that she secretly knows that I am better than her. Now, the person who is safe... Please step forward. Jordan, head upstairs. Thank you. Good luck, you guys. I'm safe right now. Rightfully so. I deserve Chrissy's the type of woman that, like, I would not be even remotely surprised if she has a record. Like, not even remotely. And I mean outside of the fact that she definitely was at Capitol, at the Capitol, on <laughs> at the insurrection, and probably did get punished for that. Okay. It. I'm looking down on these people fighting for their life. 
Tonight, for this pressure test, the four of you will have to cook a stunning chicken breast. <laughs> the art to cooking a perfect chicken breast can never be underestimated. Simply sauteed. The skin is crisp, basted in butter and incredibly moist in the center. You have 40 minutes to cook a man. stunning, delicious. Bro, this is my challenge. Like, not even a joke. Like, I'll fuck this up, dude. I mean, in a good way. Chicken breast. This is not a big pressure test. Chicken breast, 40 minutes. Easy. One second, Gordon. When I think There's of chicken, to, uh, to I think hands. of something completely different. Southern fried chicken. Crisp, perfectly seasoned on the outside, moist, juicy on the inside. Tonight, I want my chicken southern fried. Sauteed, fried. Both these guys are wrong. I like my chicken. Go off free. Stuffed. She got me bricked up with just beautiful she mozzarella and, and delicious one. prosciutto di parma. Sauteed for me. Fried for Graham and stuffed for Joe. And you've all got 40 minutes. What? Now you can call it a pressure test. For one of you, it will be your last 40 minutes in the biggest culinary competition in the country. Make your way to your stations. They literally gave the best challenge for Chrissy, by the way. She's done all three of these, like... You know she could do this with her fucking eyes closed, for the record, which is fucked up. Let's go. On your stations, you will find everything that you need to cook three different chicken breasts three different ways. What'd they say? I fear we have awakened the sleeping giant. You better hold on to your knives, because this bitch is coming for you. You're then again, she fucking talked shit before and then fucked up. So. 40 minutes starts. Now. I'm a little nervous. I am a vegetarian. I have never cooked chicken before, and I'm just gonna trust in myself that I can do this. I'm doing great. I never made fried chicken, but I always feel I survived. One thing I don't cook is That's fried chicken. I mean, so I just made it to the top dollars. 10. I can't go home Thank now. This is nothing for me. Bro, how the fuck have these people never made fried chicken? That's so weird. Luca's never made fried chicken. Savannah's never made fried chicken. And Brie doesn't know what the f she's doing. This is crazy to have 40 minutes and get all this done. Gordon, your sauteed chicken. What is the secret of it? Not cooking it too fast. Center takes time. Graham, the secret behind fried chicken is what? I mean, you need a gorgeous crust, so you need to soak it in buttermilk, have it spiced up, a little hot sauce, salt, and then dredge it through twice, so you get it in the flour that's been seasoned, back in the buttermilk, back in the flour, fry it. So how about you? Well, stuffed chicken's complex because you have to be able to butcher, saute, and make a sauce. Luca. How you doing? I'm all right. Who's leaving the competition? She needs to go home. Chrissy? Yeah, we are all sick and tired of her. <laughs> Is that right, everybody? <laughs> Public enemy number one. You know she ain't going nowhere. When everybody fucking says that, you know. Producers are like, okay, taking a note of that. You know, you know they're gonna fucking save her. They probably are saving her with this challenge. Chrissy. Which of these three preparations are you most comfortable with? I'm comfortable with all of them. Okay. None of them really yeah, scare me. What was going on in that wine room? Yes, Savannah yes, didn't want to take Very responsibility for herself. You're all of a sudden, I was the, the worst one on the team yesterday. So she was trying to blame you? I, I know what they're doing. This is a chance for you to knock one of them out of here. Absolutely. Good luck. Thank you. What's a vegetarian going to season fried chicken with? Tofu? Bree, you're a vegetarian. Are you comfortable with this fried chicken? Um, well... <laughs> I don't know. We're going to find out. So you're relying purely on instincts now, aren't you? Completely. 20 minutes to keep yourself in this competition. Good luck. Thank you. Savannah. Yes, Chef. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Which one of the three chicken preparations scares you the most? The fried chicken, for sure, because I don't quite know how the batter is supposed Bro, to... Bro, I swear to God. Am I crazy? She does look like me and Malcova, right? And I know something off but i just can't figure out what it is you haven't started cooking your fried chicken yet no i'm gonna start it right now you've now got exactly 10 minutes it sounds to go. like her too 
Marie's doing horrible. She hasn't even put her chicken in the deep fryer yet. Please, you bastard. You gotta go, Brie. Time is about up, and my fried chicken is not fried, and it's sitting in a bowl of flour. I feel like I'm completely screwed right now. Yeah, I think we might be losing Brie today. Come on, Brie. You can't be talking shit towards Chrissy and not fucking match up. Whip it together. up, Brie. Get Tonight's after it, Queen. What are you doing? Sauteed, fried, and Queen! Stuffed. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, no! three, two, one, and stop. Start moving your plates down, guys. Come on. Thank you. I love that emo so much. Well done. I'm nervous and hope that I can take Chrissy down. Her actions are complete. Chrissy's my neighbor. I'm sorry to hear that, my friend. God damn. Unforgivable. If I lose a chicken challenge to a vegetarian, I might as well just give up cooking. I cannot stand her. She is the epitome of the girls that I used to beat up in high school. I hate her. Pre-watched. Fucking pre-watched. Once again, I called it. Don't test me, bro. Do not. Okay. I know this country, specifically the Northeast. Okay. I know the tri-state like the back of my fucking hand. Okay. I know the people in it. Bree can do this. I know it. Don't fucking test me. I know a hog from a mile away and I absolutely know one that throws fucking hands. Okay. A woman of that size from Southern Philadelphia, you know, she is, you know, she's beating ass. Okay. You thought her accent was Baltimore? No, she sounds like she's from Baltimore. Right, Savannah. Just explain how you cook my chicken, please. So I crisped up the skin in a very hot pan and mm -hmm. finished it in the oven. Looks nice and moist. So the problem is I've got this raw fat there. The skin tastes fatty, and underneath, this just tastes like it's poached. The actual chicken stock's watered it down, and the skin's soft. What a shame. Um, not what I asked for. It doesn't taste of a beautifully sautéed chicken. Unfortunately, you didn't nail it. Thank you. Nice Hi. Where's the, the crunchy exterior? I don't know how to make a batter, so I just winged it. Oh, no. I would say that that's undercooked. That's bad. I'm gonna try to... Obviously, the Dundalk and Philly accents are very similar. I mean, I guess it does make sense. It's the outside here. Really lacks seasoning. It's like balking at me, you know, with, with how under it is. So, Gordon's was bland, Graham's is raw. Uh -oh. What are we gonna get from mine? I hope this one's better. Fucking roll. Chicken looks properly cooked. Yeah. The stuffing's actually quite good. The sauce is a little goopy. I like to see the sauce a little bit lighter, more acidic. This was very buttery and thick. By far the best of the three, but it's not saying much. Right, Chrissy. We all want Chrissy to go home. She's like a bulldog. She's just getting in everybody's nerves. Skin's crispy on top. Nice to see. Color on the bottom as well. So slight issue straight away. Visually, you can see. Slightly pink there. Seasoning, nice. I like that fresh cracked pepper on there. Beautiful when something's so simply done like that. But you can just see that slight lightness, but not a bad job. Thank you. All right, so buttermilk fried chicken. How often do you cook this? A lot. Yeah? <laughs> yeah. You can hear that crisp shell. Listen to that crunch. I mean, that's it. Yo, I'm sorry, but they 100% did this for Chrissy. Like, they literally wanted the fucking... They wanted her to win this. Okay? This is it. You could not... 
have picked the challenge more to fucking favor Chrissy. This is literally like asking Luca to make fucking, uh, you know, Italian pasta, but not, uh, not risotto apparently, which he sucks at doing, you know? It's good all the way through. You did it justice. Thanks. Great fried chicken. Good job. Chrissy. Italian style stuffed chicken. I expect this to be really good. Hopefully it's cooked. <laughs> Let's see what we got here. That doesn't look like a lot of stuffing to me. I thought you would have been more generous with your stuffing, Chrissy. The sauce is tart. I wish there was more, but certainly a very passable stuffed Italian chicken. Thank you. Luca. So visually, it looks overcooked. It looks dry. How can you get that skin crispy if you've got all that butter underneath there? Yeah, I thought it was crispy mm -hmm. right after I cook it. Lovely color. Seasoned nicely, but it's just overcooked. So all the moisture's gone. Dan. You looking like sexy Turkish John Lennon right got... now, big boy. Oh, hey, happy hob. What's good? We've got a nice... Crisp. Wait, who's saying I'm fat phobic? I'm fat, motherfucker. The exterior i'd say it's cooked 90 percent of the way you can see here slightly under good flavor i really like the spice you put in chicken's moist obviously on this part even more moist in the middle but a valiant effort Thanks. oh they're saying joe's fat phobic yeah because he said Luca, i thought you would have stuffed it hot and stuffed chicken i hope so what do you think is gonna go home savannah's chicken over there is pretty raw This is a little raw too. Oh man. wow. How am I supposed to eat this? It's not a little raw, that's hella raw, bro. That's over. After the chicken It's clucking at me, Luca. How am I supposed to fucking eat this? It's still got feathers on it, Luca. It's fucking raw! Breast pressure test. Both Savannah and Luca risk being sent home, having served the judges raw chicken. How am I supposed to eat this? Oh, wow. Uh... Damn, bro, imagine not being able to fucking make chicken all different kinds of ways. Couldn't be me, brother. That's, that's the one thing, dude, you know? On top of being raw, it's not seasoned. It's stringy. Damn. Right. He went Italian Three. with it. Is it Kepecato? So you don't cook chicken. It's, a, it's a ripperoni you know after it. that. I was guessing I put a thermometer in it, checking the internal temperature. First of all, you can see yours needs four more minutes. Bro, why are they still eating the raw chicken, by the way? They just got no... They are... They got no fears no more. Like, they've completely dropped it. Um, spot on. Skin could have been crispier, but you know, brie, it needs four minutes minimum in the pan. It's slightly undercooked. Yes, chef. Damn. Hi, brie. Hi, chef. The batter's good. You can tell that you season aggressively. Let's see how it is in the middle. Uh oh. It's gonna be raw again. Brie. They really believe in that oh, whole night. Oh my god. Dude, what is happening, dude? This is the all raw Tinez episode. I guess it's kind of hard to fucking cook a chicken that hard, though. I mean, that thick. Fucking Chrissy won, dude. At least she didn't hit it raw. Those are some big ass fucking breasts, dude. It's a hard ass fucking lump of meat to. see raw just like what we saw in savannah's yeah the batter's tasty but i can't even taste what's inside right the middle it's a shame it's 
So, my stuffed chicken. Is this raw too, you think? I'm hoping that it's cooked. So am I. Well, it's not raw. Woohoo! The stuffing's quite good. The sauce is a little buttery. I wish it was more acidic. OK. But it's excellent cook. How are you feeling? Uh, for the first time since I got here, I'm genuinely nervous. Me too. Oh, my god. All of you, this is a very, very difficult decision to make. We need a minute. So, uh, Luca, Bree, and Savannah have all got raw fried chicken. Chrissy nailed it. Yeah. Didn't she? Totally. Yeah, totally in a comfort. Just fucking let her pass at this point, dude. Okay, she's content. You know it. I know it. We all know it. Chrissy knows it. And that is precisely why you're letting her pass. Okay, that is exactly what's going on right now. Just, just fucking, come on. Come on. Just, come on. Is raw raw, or is there levels of rawness? Great. All agree? Why the fuck did you fuck my mom, dude? What's wrong with you? Just I'm your stepfather now, dude. Nay, the father that stepped up. You should be happy and welcoming. That's what your mom wants. 40 minutes. That's the most unforgiving pressure test we've seen so far in this competition. Chrissy, step forward, please. I think what's become pretty obvious is that you may not be making many friends in this competition. But you're certainly but it's fucking damn good judges. content. Great job. Continue focusing. But you're making damn good content. Chrissy has a bad attitude. She's always threatening to beat people up and how she's going to hurt them. And I'm sick of it. I just want to send her home. And Please, the producers love you. The contestants. I'm not going anywhere. And if I do go somewhere, it's going to be my fault. I'm going to fight. And I will go down swinging. Bro, this is literally Stav wearing a wig, okay? You will never convince me otherwise. And also, actually, that's not true because Stav is a wonderful, wonderful human who everyone loves to be around, and she is the exact opposite. But yes, she is a fighter, bro. She is a gross fighter, okay? She is a bathroom brawler, okay? This is like catch Chrissy at the bathroom of a gas station, throwing fucking hands. Do you understand? Like, I don't know how the fuck she just is safe throughout all this entire process. Like, she just keeps somehow fucking making it out of the cut, no matter what happens. It's kind of annoying. Not kind of annoying. It's very annoying, but at least, goddamn, it's, by God, it's some good-ass content. Three of you remain. None of you nailed it. This is really tough, guys. Luca, go upstairs and join the rest of them. Bree's gonna make it. Bree's gonna Savannah, make it. Bree. Savannah fucked it up harder than Bree. Going home and leaving their Master Chef dream. That person is. Bree, it's not you. Make your way upstairs. We, Savannah. White people. You've are. made it into the top ten of the best amateur cooks in this country, and you should be incredibly proud. I'm just happy that I had the chance to be here, and um, I never imagined. After her appearance, Savannah did a number of events as a private catering chef and had her own website sharing recipes and advertising private chef services and catered to such events as Turning Point USA. No! She continued to teach and is currently the assistant principal at a high school. You made that part up. You made that Turning Point USA part up. No shot. Getting to this point, so I'm just grateful. Come up here and say goodbye. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you so much. I'm leaving here absolutely a stronger person. I'm so proud of what I've accomplished here. I've made it to the top 10. 
was amazing. Oh, thank you. No fucking shot that's real, dude. It, like, what? Hoss lighting in the lore dumps. Can't trust nobody no more. Yeah, I, I... That is actually fucked up. She's like a special ed teacher, isn't she? No shot, dude. Hogs are such content, though. Totally made up. Lynn didn't work at Robin Hood either. It was too easy. Love I'm sorry. Dude, lore masters, you're not just letting me down. You're letting fellow chatters down. You know that? Like when you're, everyone can just fucking copy paste the lore from the wiki. Okay. But when you lie in your lore, you're literally lying to the bit about Ling going to Robin Hood was not fake. They weren't lying about that. They were lying about that, or they weren't? Lynn did work at Robin Hood. Okay. Lore masters, you are the master of lore, not the master of lies. Okay? Remember that. You have an incredibly important responsibility and that is it's a trusted one okay you are a trusted person in the chat lying to me is one thing and it's all fun and games but lying to the rest of the chat misinformation is literally bannable <laughs> wow Messed up, dude. I want people to know that you don't have to underestimate yourself or your abilities. I'm just grateful that I can say that I've done something extraordinary. And uh, I'll always have this to look back on in my life. Sacred pact between lore masters and the chatters that shall not be broken. Yeah, it's messed up. Yeah, no shot. Savannah is like a special ed teacher. 0% chance she's like catering to EPUSA. 